Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and in this video I will be explaining to you how the Autogun plugin works in FL Studio. So Autogun is a really simple preset based synthesizer, and you can browse through the presets by clicking on either of these arrows. And something pretty cool about Autogun is it has a lot of presets. And by a lot, I mean over 4 billion. And no, I'm not joking about that. If I hover over this, it'll give me the patch info. And currently, I am on preset number 1 billion, 17 million, and etc. Okay, so let's see how this preset sounds. Now, Autogun does have some you know, pretty cool sounds in it. Uh, especially metallic or bell kind of sounds. So, you know, it might be kind of cool to use in your tracks. Um, this wheel here is your master level, which is the output volume of Autoka. It goes from 0% to 200%. And this wheel down here is, it's called Magic Dust. But what, what it is, is a sound goodizer, which is a plugin that's a preset version of Maximus. So it, when you're adjusting this, what you're really doing is adjusting how much a multiband compressor is affecting the sound. So, you know, if you want the sound to be a little bit fatter, you can use that if you want to. And if you hover over this, it'll give you your current preset number. But you can also click on it to enter a preset number. So I'll just insert preset number one, and so let's enter another random preset number. And now what Autogun is, is it's a preset only version of Ogun. So what you can actually do, which is pretty cool, is you can, you know, write down the current preset number which I have already done. And then you can go into Ogun, click on this arrow here, and select to enter random preset number. And you can type that number in. And you'll see it has the same name. and the same sound. So if you own Ogun, you can, you know, make further adjustments. And all that kind of stuff. Now by clicking this, you also have a few other options. These ones just, you know, take you to different home pages on the ImageLine website. And this one just has the credits of the plugin. But this one allows you to change the processing quality which changes the amount of interpolation that is happening on the sound. And so you have your draft, average, high, pristine, and huge waste of CPU, which means at the draft level, the interpolation settings will be lower to save CPU at the cost of having certain kinds of artifacts occurring in the final output. So you can increase this value to prevent those artifacts from happening. But it does also increase the CPU usage. So you might keep it at draft at, while you're editing a song. But while you're mixing, you might you know, uh, turn the quality up. And if it's using too much CPU, you'd render it out. 
and then you can mix with that. Uh, or if you prefer the sound of the lower quality, because sometimes you might, uh, then you would keep it at the lower quality. Now, if you do a search on Google, if you search for autogun presets, uh, there are a few different forum topics that have, you know, people's favorite presets listed or any good presets listed. So you can definitely check those out. Um, in the description of this video, I'll have a link to the autogun and ogun forum on the ImageLine website. So you can definitely look through that as well. And yeah. That's the Autogun plugin in FL Studio. Thanks for watching my tutorial video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch new videos as soon as I upload them. After that, check out the Beat School website. I'll have the link in the description. All my tutorials are organized on the site so that you can easily find what you need by browsing through the different categories. There are also a ton of awesome resources to help you in every aspect of music production. And if you want to help support me, you can buy any of my sample packs, preset packs, or project files for only $5 or less. This gets you some great sounds for a great price and allows me to spend more time making these tutorials and working on the website. Thanks again for watching my video and have a great day.